Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Movie Night with the Young's Lightning Round. I'm Brittany. And I'm Nicole. Uh, If you guys caught our episode this week, we did the movie The Labyrinth. It is part of our Movies That Scared Us That Shouldn't Have Month. Uh, We had a split decision on that. Nicole thought it was nostalgia. I thought it held up. So that was an interesting twist at the end. (laughs) But thanks for ruining the twist. (laughs) If they haven't seen it. Go watch the episode and see why we thought those. (laughs) There you go. Um, But yes, in this lightning round, for those of us who are, those of us, those of you who are new here, we basically just ask each other quick questions about the movie just to further dive into it to see what will come out. So I think we should just do that. Just, just dive right in. Sounds good. Okay. I've written several questions for Nicole to answer. I will pick one at random. I'll also answer myself. The first one being... (laughs) Are you doing your shaking thing again? No, because you made fun of it last time. I'm not shaking them randomly. Hmm. I'm just going up and down my list mm-hmm. and then stopping. Got it. And the one I stopped on was not the funnest one. Who was your favorite character? Hmm. I... Ugh. Sarah? No, definitely <laughs> not Sarah. Sorry, Sarah. <laughs> Honestly, I like the worm, and the worm's only in it for like 30 seconds. Yeah, he's nice. <laughs> the worm. Like, I feel like they he should have like followed her along, and like he's at different parts of the labyrinth, and he could have made little cameos, but mm, that's true. He always was so strange to me because he always he was like trying to invite her in for coffee with the missus, and I'm like, she can't fit into your door. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're a little worm and Sarah's a human being. She can't yeah. fit inside. Yeah. But if it wasn't the worm, since it's only 30 seconds, I kind of like Hoggle. Hoggle? Mm-hmm. Mm, Hoggle's too – he's not loyal. Yeah, but you can tell he wants to be – he's going back and forth. He helps her, doesn't. You know. mm. I think for me, I like Sir Ditmus and Ambrosius. Mm. I think they're funny. I think – I just like how – he like the dog gets really scared and even like in the heat of battle sir ditmus is like come here come on like he's like focused (laughs) on that instead of yeah i think it's just a funny thing that he looks like he would be like a dueler but really i think that they're just both very scared yeah um but yeah i feel like yeah the, the puppets are probably like there's no other humans in the labyrinth i forgot to say that are there any other humans besides the goblin king and sarah um two no and toby but yeah oh toby (laughs) <laughs> oh toby he's so cute okay uh, i don't know why he's wearing a christmas um onesie though oh yeah his striped white <laughs> and red is a little distracting yeah. i think maybe just to make him stand out amongst everybody else oh could be yeah good point just be like there's the baby mm-hmm. um next question i this is just completely made up i don't know if this would change anything what would your bog of eternal stench smell like a question is that? I don't know. It popped up when I was watching it. I was like, I wonder what it smells like. I don't even know how to answer that question. I don't know. Like, ugh. because if I had a choice, it would smell like flowers. But no, it's supposed to be gross. Like, is there something that you smell that you're like, ugh. I have no idea. Because everybody thinks. Like- have you been oh. to the tar pits here before? La yeah, tar I went pits? with you, remember? Well, yeah, everybody thinks that smells because it's sulfur. Everybody thinks that smells really bad. I don't think it smells bad. Yeah, it's actually not that strong. Yeah, like everybody's like, I can't even stand it. And I'm like, I don't really. Or like today, uh, our mom was telling me like how I shouldn't go to indoor pools because of the smell. And I was like, I love the smell of chlorine. I was just going to say, I like gasoline and bleach, so I'm probably not the best one to ask. <laughs> this is the beginning of Real killer mantra. <laughs> I love gasoline bleach, chlorine, gasoline bleach, chlorine. Yeah. <laughs> that turned real fast. Yeah, that got real creepy real fast. Or like, or I mean, everybody loves the smell of Pirates of the Caribbean, but like some people don't. And I think that's just pure like seaweed. But that no, Pirates of the Caribbean ride is chlorine. I don't think it's chlorine. Yeah, all those water rides smell like chlorine. Different kind of chlorine than I'm used to. Mm. So, um, I don't know how to answer your question. <laughs> That's okay. It sparked some interesting insights. <laughs> that I like to smell gasoline. <laughs> yeah, gasoline, chlorine, bleach. <laughs> Let's just clarify. I don't like purposely go and get it. Yeah, and we're, not smell it. we're not huffing stuff. We're not huffing stuff. Yeah, it's just when we're in the situation where it happens to be around. Yeah, we're not. We're not bothered by it. 
Yeah. Exactly. Not bothered. By it. Yeah. Because I absolutely hate the smell of lavender. Cannot stand lavender. Oh, yeah. So there's some nice, pleasant smells too that I like. Maybe that would be mine. I'd be like, ooh, lavender. Yeah, true. It's a very strong smell. Um. Next question. <laughs> Gosh. If the Goblin King gave you 13 hours to save Dominic or I uh-huh. by going through the labyrinth, would you? Well, yes, I would. Are you saying like, would I make it or would I do it? Would you do it? Yes, of course I would do it. <laughs> I'm not going to leave you guys there. I feel like whether or not if I make it is a different question. I feel like you at this age, you would. I feel like you, if you were like eight years old, would really have to stop and think about it. That's rude. But is it true? I don't think so. Nicole, is it true though? No, I don't think so. Are you telling me to go away most of the time? I don't know that you would come out and find me. Or I bet you Yeah, but I wouldn't leave you guys somewhere. No, I can hear you being like, oh, Brittany got herself taken. I have to go find her. (laughs) I'd still go get you. (laughs) But it wouldn't be as like, I got it. I'll get him. Okay, whatever. (laughs) I had that question for myself yesterday. I was like, I don't know if Dominic were in there. Would I go get him? I don't know. That's rude. <laughs> no, I probably would. But let's be real. Oh, no. I could be really distracted by all the creatures inside. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. I don't know if I'd actually make it. <laughs> yeah. But like, I could get really distracted with people in there. And if those like fire pit gang guys weren't creepy, I'd love to hang out with them. Mm-hmm. But. I don't know. She also didn't have like anything to indicate how much time was going by. So yeah. Only when he sped up the clock is like the only time you actually saw it. Yeah. So that could have been a throw it off, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. I wonder if Dominic would come and save us. I would hope so. (laughs) I think it's all about truly. I think it's all about what age you are. I mean, I'd still do it. So, yeah, but like it wouldn't be as like okay, I'm gung ho. Let's go. True, but at least I didn't right. straight up leave you. <laughs> True, or <laughs> hopefully you wouldn't summon the goblins in the first place. Yeah, I don't think I would. <laughs> like that's what always got me. She was the one who wanted him to leave, and yeah, mm-hmm. two seconds later she's like, "Oops." Yeah. yeah. All right. Last question. So labyrinths are confusing. You can get lost real easily. Have you ever been lost somewhere so bad that you were just going in circles and circles and circles? Mm, I don't think so. I mean, my friend, <laughs> my friend and I got lost hiking once, but we didn't end up going in circles. We just kept getting further and further lost. Mm. Like we didn't end up back where we like we've already seen this before. Yeah. And it took us like hours to get out. And we started the hike at like 8 in the morning. And by the time we actually made it back, it was like 6 p.m. at night. (laughs) I've had that happen to me too. We went – or it's not even that it was lost. It was like Shane and his brother went on a hike the day before. And it was supposed to be like a one-mile loop. Mm -hmm. Well, it was a one-mile loop. And he did it. And then the next day he was like, oh, I want to take you. And we did it. And, yeah, it was like – I was like, this is not a one-mile loop. We were gone for like hours. Mm. And then when we finally did it, we realized he had taken, like, the wrong trailhead. Mm. Like, I've had several things like that, or even, like, with friends of mine over here. They're like, we're going back to this waterfall a mile and a half back, and we ended up on, like, the seven-mile loop. Yeah. Um, Because I don't really get lost. I'm real good with directions. Yeah, I'm really bad. Directions, yeah. that's not my... That's why when everyone gives me directions, oh, head north on whatever... I was like, where's north? <laughs> like, I need a building. I need a landmark. <laughs> There's some gaps in your education, Nicole. <laughs> I'll say that. I mean, I'm not going on treasure hunt, so I don't really need it. <laughs> what if you were going on a treasure hunt? Josh Gates style. And- That's what Google Maps is for. <laughs> oh, boy. Your g- generation grew up without Google Maps. Uh, yeah, but – and we use landmarks. Like, oh, that's over by 7-Eleven or whatever. And then you know where it is. Hmm. No, turn by that greenhouse. Turn at the church. Not sure. head northeast on. No. <laughs> all right, sassy. Jeez. <laughs> well, that was all my questions. Hmm. Good questions. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, everybody, hope you enjoyed this week's movie, The Labyrinth. 
let us know down in the comments if you're watching on YouTube. What did you guys think about this movie? Did you think it was creepy? Answer any of our questions. Or if you have any questions for our movie next week, um, we're doing... Never ending story. Never ending story. I was going to say Land Before Time. <laughs> I was like, that was not right. We're Land doing... Time. That's that a one. sad movie. But yeah, but not scary. <laughs> uh, we are going to be doing Never Ending Story. So if you have any questions, put us in the comments. Follow us over on Instagram, movie night underscore podcast. We hope you enjoyed listening to this week's crazy episodes. Hope you come back next week for probably still crazier episodes. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Thanks for being here, everybody. Have a good movie night. Bye. Bye. Bye.